Okay, very good there. Hey, welcome back to Bay Sunday on this very rainy Sunday. I'm Roberta Gonzalez. Presidents deliver the State of the Union address. Well, some of the country's most talented artists, musicians, and poets are about to deliver a poetic address to the nation. Mm -hmm. Here in the studio this morning to tell us more about it is poet Mark Bow. I said it correctly. You the, did. I did. Bamuthi? <laughs> yes. Bamuthi. He's here right today. Bamuthi Joseph. Yes. That's beautiful. Where did Thank it originate you. from? Uh, I'm of Haitian descent, but my name Bamuthi actually comes from the Endebele um, tribe of uh, the southern tip of the African continent. See, if I wouldn't have stumbled over it, I would have never even asked that. So there thank you, you for educating me today. Always expansive. So yeah. now maybe you can tell me about this wonderful event taking place. It's going to be the um, where we have musicians and poets all coming together under one roof to deliver a poetic message to the nation. Absolutely. Well, you know, we have to engage our democracy in as many ways as we can. Um, and some folks do this through the electoral process. Some folks go out uh, in the streets and participate in marches. At Yerba Buena Center for the Arts, we've partnered with the United States Department of Arts and Culture, um, inspired by a woman named Arlene Goldbard. And um, we're gathering 12 to 15 poets who have taken inspiration from different story circles um, from around the country and have um, developed these poems that address their country as they see it, um, projecting the landscape of the current state of America through sonnets, through songs, and through spoken word poems. So it could be a gathering of uh, poems or songs not necessarily written by that particular artist? Always written by the artist, okay. inspired by their their own experience okay. as immigrants. I mean, you look at Donald Trump's um, cabinet and there aren't very many women. There's one African American. There are lots of um, billionaires. Um, this is a gathering of poets that come from immigrant backgrounds, are highly diverse in terms of um, religion, gender, and loving preference um, to give us um, an artistic and cultural look at what America um, projects itself to be. I just love this. A, a book came to mind uh, really quickly here. Uh, Marianne Williamson, I don't know if you're mm -hmm. familiar with her mm -hmm. writings where she traveled the globe, the world, in, in search of different poems and rites and rituals pertaining to one particular subject. Like if you wanted to pray for world peace, yeah. you, you don't read this book from the beginning to the end. You go to that chapter, mm -hmm. and there may be four different rites, rituals, poems, mm -hmm. and you choose the one that's most fitting for you. Yeah. Are you kind of saying this is good? This is what's going to go down next yeah. week. Yeah. I mean, area. I mean, the the poet Wallace Stevens um, calls poets the legislators of of the world, and I, I look to San Francisco's own history. This is the 50th yes. anniversary of the Summer of Love. Where would yes. we be without cultural impact right. and culture to guide the way? And YBCA makes a habit of that. We generate culture that moves people. Well, Mark, I, I'm wondering, you are going to be participating in this, obviously, I right? I am going to be participating, yes. Um, I, was, I was hoping maybe you could do me the honor of reciting a poem for me. Um, I can give you a snippet. Okay. I can, I can say that between the visas, the wall, the health care repeal, and the Goldman Sachs cabinet, the fictional massacres, the actual alliances with Nazis and fascists, um, the Muslim ban, Flynn, DeVos, Dodd-Frank, the Yemen attack, Kellyanne, Fax, Seoul, Toll, Bowling Green in Sweden, abandoning freedom of the press and banning, uh, tiny orange hands on the button, a glutton, a, a, a constitution gutting, social safety net cutting. Has it been a days yet how do we heal oh. did you write that I did write that my goodness mm -hmm. thanks Thanks. Well, a, a little bit, the, you know, poets like Guillermo Gomez Pena, um, uh, Hadil Ramadan, um, Tango Eisen Martin, um, again, hosted by Shanaka Hodge, a really wide range of extremely talented poets, um, all performing original work inspired by this great country. Well, I want to remind everybody that this is going to be taking place next Saturday? Next Saturday, March 11th at mm -hmm. 5 p.m. at Yerba Buena Center for the Arts in downtown San Francisco. And it's also going to be streamlined right? Yes, stream live. live. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. there, there are, um, we are joining a chorus of several events around the country and ours will be streamed. Yes, yeah, on sure. Facebook and mm -hmm. freespeech.org. And if yep. you'd like to have tickets to go, I'd like to watch you uh, myself, Mark. Um, all you have to do is log on to ybca.org.
and you can buy tickets. Do you know how much they are? Uh, Ten to fifteen dollars, but no one turned away. This no. this okay. is um, how a cultural institution participates as a as a citizen. Yeah, uh, it's, it's in our a nice event. It's a nice event. Investment, yeah. investment into yeah. culture right here in the Bay Area. No doubt. Agreed. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, thanks and, for having me. Oh, you're welcome. When Bay Sunday comes back, find out how to live better and choose bliss. We'll be right back.